When I was thinking about writing this letter, um, I was going to write it with the thought that I'd be writing to my other half, but then I really started to think about that notion, um, someone being your other half, and I started to question what that really means. You know, is that the idea that we aren't, uh, we aren't whole without one another? And then I realized that it's, uh, it's never been a phrase that I'm much fond of. I like to think of it this way. Uh, you're like an extra layer of a sheet cake. One layer of cake is good enough to stand on its own, but uh, a second just makes it that much better. I would always rather view my role as a husband in our marriage as being complimentary to you and to build upon the wonderful qualities you bring to our relationship. As a wife, I never want you to view yourself as incomplete without me. Rather, I want you to be your whole self, a self that is, beautiful, that is beautifully smart, funny, kind, and strong. It's these qualities that I strive to complement, and these qualities that I know you'll pass on to our children someday. My love, today is finally the day. What an amazing nine years it has been being your girlfriend, but I am ready to call myself your wife. I know that leading up to today hasn't been perfect, but it has been perfectly imperfect experiencing this process with you. Before I met you, I had a very skewed understanding of what it meant to love. You have changed my entire outlook on what it means to be happy and to love, so thank you for that. Amy, there are so many things that I love about you. I love the way you have a sixth sense for selecting songs in the car. Like when I want you to play a certain song next, and you somehow instantly know that that's the song I had in mind, even without me having to say anything. Uh, and you smile when I freak out and exclaim that that's exactly the song that I wanted you to play. I still don't understand what it was about me that had you head over heels nine years ago when we met but I promise to never question it again because I know you just knew. I cannot wait to see how handsome you look and I cannot wait to celebrate our love today with all of our friends and family. I love the way that you wake up on a sleepy Sunday morning and you know that you would like to sleep in longer but like a kid on Christmas morning I have to rouse you with an offer of breakfast and while you hate being woken up early I, part of me thinks that you kind of like it because you always crack a half awake smile. I love that you have your own ambitions and dreams and know what you're going to make uh, and know that you're going to make the best nurse in the world. You know, this only further excites me knowing that you'll similarly be the best mother in the world someday. And that is truly something I can't wait for. Our time together as boyfriend and girlfriend have been amazing, but I'm excited for this next chapter together as husband and wife. I love you to the moon and back, Thailand, always and forever. Love, Amy. I love your spirit and that you care so deeply about the things that matter, things like family, friends, and being passionate about what you do. 
Amy, there are things in this world that don't make a lot of sense to me, but you are not among those things. You are wholesome and good and deserve all the love I can give. I pray that at times when things get tough, we can say everything is for free and for fun and give unconditionally to one another knowing that as long as we have each other, there isn't anything on this earth to fear. Amy, you are my best friend and my soulmate, and I can't imagine being here with anybody else and know that I've made the right decision. You are everything I've ever needed and never will. I love you with all my heart. Love, your husband, Tylen James Springstead. <laughs>